Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe and then also hit that notification button. That way you can be alerted every time I post a new video. Now today we're gonna to be um, talking about how to have your house looking expensive, but on a budget. Okay, like I know all of us ladies and maybe some gents too out there would just love when people walk into their home, They people would just be like, oh wow, this is just, this is gorgeous. This just looks great, you know? So um, there are ways that you can make your house look very elegant, very classy, and actually expensive, but not actually spending that kind of money. So we're gonna hop into it. And I have, I wanna say like seven tips, but who knows how many tips I'm gonna come up with because I haven't rehearsed this or anything like that. So just off the top of my head, um, I'm gonna start with number one. This might be a hard one for you guys. and you, I know none of you would probably ever thought of it, but it's I was a just joking. It's a, it's a clean home like who wants to walk into a house that has like um blankets thrown on the floor toys on the floor i mean i know um if you have children of course that will happen but i'm talking about like if you're trying to entertain and you have people coming over for the weekend or staying during christmas or like a certain holiday or something like that uh just try to keep your house tidy that's the number one way to make your house look nice okay is have it clean okay two i would say is the smell and actually i think the smell is come is number one actually when someone walks in your home you want them to oh my gosh like are you baking cookies like whenever someone comes to my house let me let me show you real quick um what i use sorry take me one quick second Okay, so I have, wherever it is, right here. I told you this wasn't planned. <laughs> but, okay, I so I have this huge container full of Walmart, Better Homes, um, wax warmers. You guys, I'm telling you, when anybody walks in my home, it's going to smell like Fruity Pebbles. And I want them to always have that memory. Mmm, this smells like Mona's house, you know? So these really help, these wax warmers. And I'll tell you, this is the best, the best. You can barely find it when you even go there because everybody's caught on to how good it smells. The best smell. So make sure you get some of those um, wax warmers. And then if you don't like the wax warmers, of course, candles. Make your house smell good. And I also use Febreze in my home. So number two have your house smell good no one wants to walk into a home that smells like cat and dog and pee and who because i've been in some houses that smell like that okay so three how to make your house look more expensive and elegant would be da, 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 fresh flowers Mm. Oh my gosh, fresh flowers are amazing. And I know you can't always, everybody's not gonna always be able to, out, to go out and get flowers, fresh flowers. But um, as you can see, it looks like mine are a little thirsty right now. But um, these were cheap. It didn't cost me a lot of money, you guys. Um, these right here, they cost me $3 a bundle. And then the flowers cost me four, no, $3 and then $4 for these. You know, so pretty cheap. I think fresh flowers, get you some fresh flowers. If you cannot um, get fresh flowers, you can always use faux flowers, okay? And that's what I use most of the time. But if you're trying to impress, get you some real flowers. All right, what was that, three? Okay, um, four, how to make your home look more expensive. large vases or vases, whatever you want to go them. But they're very, very elegant looking. It looks expensive, but actually this was expensive. <laughs> but um, I got this from Pure One and I believe I paid $100 for it, but you guys can find cheap vases. Let me show you real quick. 
Sorry, I should have thought this out and then had everything lined up for the video, but I didn't because Mona does things at the drop of a dime. Okay, hold on. Okay. Here we go. All right, this one is just as beautiful as the one I spent $100 for. Look at this baby, it's bigger, it sparkles. Look at that, is that not beautiful? And when you look at that, it just says, oh, wow, she paid a whole bunch of money for that. But I didn't, I paid. How much did I pay? And if you guys watch my videos, you'll see that I leave tags on almost everything of mine because I can't make up my mind if I want to keep it and stuff. So most of the time I do keep it, but just in case, I don't want to take the tags off and stuff unless, I mean, in case I take it back and then go get something else. Okay, so there's that. So large vases, not just any kind of vase, large vases, okay? Was that three or four? I can't remember. Y'all keep count, okay? <laughs> Okay, so another thing that makes your house look very expensive and you can find them at an affordable price would be crystals, anything crystal, okay? Look how beautiful that is. And crystal can be expensive, you guys, but this right here, if you shop at, um, you go to TJ Maxx, you can go to Burlington Coat Factory, you can go to Ross, um, those are uh, some cheap places that you could, I mean affordable places where you can find crystal. And this right here is real crystal. Found these from TJ Maxx, $14.99 for that one. And I believe $12.99 for this one. And that just makes your house look so classy. Look at that. It looks like you spent a whole bunch of money for those, but you didn't. Okay. What else? What else? Oh, all right. The next thing that could make your house look very expensive, because these items are expensive actually, but you can find them for a great price if you go to a thrift store or if you shop on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, yard sales, things like that, you guys. Mirrored furniture. Oh my goodness, I am in love with mirrored furniture, you guys. And it, like I said, it can be very expensive, but um, there's some items, and I'll put a clip in here of the items. Um, but like the one that I'm gonna show in this clip right ah. here. I got this for $100, you guys off of Facebook Marketplace. And if you went to a store, an actual store, and got this, it would be, I would say, well, actually the lady said it was um, 800 something dollars is what she paid for it, but she didn't have the room, so her husband made her get rid of it. And then it ended up with Simona. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Anyway, so mirrored furniture, it's just amazing. It bounces light off of everything. It just glitters and shines. I'm telling you guys, anything that glitters and shine, put it in your home because it really makes it look more expensive. And then, so that'll lead me to my next item, mirrors. Large scale mirrors and medium sized mirrors, but especially your large scale, scale mirrors. When I go somewhere or like in a fancy, sorry you guys, I got a piece of hair in my eye. Or like a uh, fancy um, hotel, um, a five star hotel, you see these large grand mirrors, you know, and that really says expensive, elegance to me. And I like to get some that are very uh, feminine. You see that shape right there? I don't know if you can see. I don't wanna move this because I don't got no tripod. I'm sitting it up on a fake plant right now. But anyways, it says elegance to me. And that just, um, I paid, um, how much did I pay for that? I paid 400 something dollars at Front Room front Home Furnishings when they were here for that mirror. And like I said, you can find them all day long on Facebook Marketplace or at a thrift store or something like that, Craigslist. Just, you gotta look, type in large mirror, boom, 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 boom. Pop up, you go buy it. Okay, and then what else makes your home look expensive? Can I think of anything else? The, oh, this is a very simple thing, but candles. Um, I would say large scale candles, 
like the big heavy ones that because you know they're expensive anyways but if you go to home goods if you go to um tj maxx if you go to ross you can find really nice size large candles that are like um 16.99 you know i don't think i've ever seen one more than like 16.99 for a candle at one of those stores so candles you guys um but all together i think am i missing anything um, oh yes oh my goodness and this can change the whole look of your house you guys and it makes it look so expensive if you get the right looking lamp uh not lamp but um light fixture in your home so just update your light fixture you don't want the old looking 1970s 60s i mean if that's your style and you're like uh you love antiques and stuff like that then yeah but if you're looking for a more elegant, more classy, more expensive look, look for um, crystal chandeliers, um, things that are um, silver, things that are gold, uh, the modern look um, that will really make your house look way more expensive, you guys. And you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money to do these things. Like I don't spend a lot of money. I get a lot of my stuff, like I said, secondhand. You know, that's what I do or, um, yeah, second hand, that's how I get it. So I mix the old with the new to get like a very beautiful look on a budget. All right, you guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got some tips that you might not have thought of before. But like I said, the main things, mirrored furniture, grand size mirrors, grand size vases, vases that, that sparkle, you know, uh, fresh flowers in your home. Keep your house clean and tidy. You know, you don't want just stuff everywhere and clothes in a corner and shoes thrown everywhere. Pick it up. You don't want your house smelling like dogs and cats. That is the worst thing ever. You want it to smell good. You want, want when someone walks into your home and they smell a smell to remind them of your house. Oh, that smells like uh, so-and-so's house. You know, that smells really good. That reminds me of her or his home. Okay, so hopefully you guys um, got some good tips and then you can get your house looking all cute and all that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I know I keep saying that, but yeah, please subscribe. Please hit the notification button and I will see you guys next time. Love you and have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye.